Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at installing Lemmy, a self-hosted Reddit alternative, on Linux. To get started, launch a terminal and run sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade to install any available software updates. Then we'll use apt install to install a few prerequisite packages required to get Lemmy installed. Now we'll make sure the Postgres service is started and enabled, then connect to the Postgres database using the Postgres command line utility. We'll create a service account for the Lemmy application to use, as well as a Lemmy database. Then we'll close the connection to Postgres. Next, we'll use CURL to download and execute the Node.js installation script. Once the script completes, we'll use apt install to install Node.js. Now we'll use the npm package manager to install the yarn package. We'll use the user add command to create a Lemmy user account. Then use CURL to download and execute the Rust installer. When prompted, type 1 and press enter to proceed with the installation. Now we'll configure the current shell for Rust as instructed by the console output. Then using regular expression, we'll look up the latest release of Lemmy on GitHub. We'll use the git clone command to pull down the Lemmy source code from GitHub. Then cd into the source code directory and check out the latest tagged release. Then we'll run git submodule update. We'll use OpenSSL to generate a 32 character randomized string. Then edit the Lemmy config file using the nano editor. Copy the random string to your clipboard before executing the nano command. Copy the values from the video description and paste them in the config file. Then update the hostname value to the name of the host and paste the 32 character randomized string in the JWT secret value. Once completed, save your changes and close out of the editor. Next, we'll set the Lemmy database URL variable to the Postgres database we created earlier. Then we'll execute cargo build to build the Lemmy application. Once the build process completes, we'll navigate up one directory. Then we'll write the scraped release number to a text file to be used later. Now we'll move the compiled Lemmy server to the opt Lemmy directory. Then authenticate as the Lemmy Linux user. We'll cd to the Lemmy user's home directory and use pwd to print the working directory to make sure we're in opt Lemmy. Next we'll use the git clone command to download the source code for the Lemmy frontend. Then we'll cd into the source code directory and use git checkout to check out the latest release. followed by running git submodule update. We'll use npm install to install any npm package dependencies. Then use yarn build to build the Lemmy UI application. Once the build process completes, we'll exit the Lemmy user shell. Now we'll set ownership of the opt Lemmy directory to the Lemmy user. Then create a new lemmy.service file and edit it in the nano editor. Copy the service configuration from the video description, then save the changes and close out of the editor. Next, we'll create a Lemmy UI bash script. Copy the contents of the bash script from the video description, then save the changes and close out of the editor. We'll use chmod to make the bash script executable. And finally, we'll create a lemmyui.service file. Copy the service configuration from the video description, then save your changes and close the editor. Now we'll run systemctl daemon reload, then we'll make sure the two services we created, one for the Lemmy server and one for Lemmy UI, are started and enabled. Open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the host, colon 1234. Create an administrator user account by entering a username, email address, and password, then click sign up. Complete the Lemmy instance setup form, then scroll to the bottom and click the create button. Welcome to Lemmy, a federated Reddit alternative running on your Linux device.